This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speech and another PowerPoint tip to help you make happy hour. How to break out the overlapping piece of a Venn diagram in PowerPoint 2007. And here in PowerPoint, I have two overlapping circles creating a simple Venn diagram. And what I want to do is break out the center overlapping piece so that I can type text or recolor it any way I see fit. And I can do that in PowerPoint 2007 by editing the shape's points. So here in PowerPoint, starting with two overlapping circles, we first want to select our objects, holding the shift key, and take away their shape fill. So from the Drawing Tools Format tab, select Shape Fill, select No Fill, so that you can see that center overlapping piece of our Venn diagram. We then want to insert a rectangle, so from the Insert tab, select the Shapes dropdown, select a normal rectangle, and just click once right in the center of the overlapping piece so that you get a perfect square. From here, holding shift, let's select all three objects. You can then use your alignment tool, which you can find on your home tab, the arrange tool. Here's the alignment tool. I happen to have it on my QAT, so I'll just hit the Alt key to close the guides and hit Alt 1, H for distribute horizontally. Unselect one of the circles and then Alt 1, M for middle and hit escape. And the rectangle is now perfectly dead center in the overlapping piece of our Venn diagram. Next, we want to rotate our rectangle so that it's in a diamond formation. And here in 2007, we can't use our keyboard shortcuts, so instead we'll need to use our mouse, right-click the rectangle, select size and position to get this floating dialog box, click into the rotation, type 45, hit tab so that it takes. You can see our rectangle rotates, hit close, and then I'll hit escape. As a last step, we need to edit our rectangle's points to become the overlapping piece of our Venn diagram. So with your mouse, select the rectangle. And here in 2007, the only way to do this is from the Drawing Tools Format tab. Navigate here to Edit Shape. You first need to select Convert to Freeform Shape. Select it once. Come back to Edit Shape. And then select Edit Points. Selecting Edit Points, you'll see a red line around your rectangle with four black rectangles. With your mouse, you then want to grab these individual pieces. There's no way to automatically do this. This is a manual operation. Set these black points as best you can on either side of your overlapping circle. You then want to select these different points and use these handlebars to warp the rectangle to create that oval shape here in the center. And with a little bit of time and patience, you can get this down perfectly so that it looks like this. With the center created, you can then select it and format it any way you see fit. I'll use my QAT, Alt 3 for shape fill, right arrow, enter for black, or type text directly into the center of your Venn diagram. Now, if you're creating lots of Venn diagrams in PowerPoint, I highly recommend upgrading to PowerPoint 2010 or 2013, as this is significantly easier in the later versions. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.